inaugural Johannesburg International Flower Show is happening right here at Waterfall Park over the next five days. So much hard work and talent has gone into putting this together. You are going to be mesmerized. The Johannesburg International Flower Show made room for talent across all forms of floristry and flower arranging. From the Japanese Ikebana Society and members of the South African Flower Unions to traditional florists, contemporary stylists, high-profile celebrity floral designers and international judges, every sector of the industry was represented. Young startups volunteered hours of their time to learn from the best and the collaboration was magnificent. With me, show director of the Johannesburg International Flower Show, Mike Sham. Congratulations, because this looks amazing. Thank you so much, Roxy. I'm very excited that we finally got it going. And what can people expect from the Joburg Flower Show? The main attractions are obviously the Grand Pavilion of Flowers, which have got some of the most incredible floral designs and installations. People will have an absolute joyous time looking at, at what these uh, floral artists have put together and then we have also have our show gardens which are amazing, the, the attention to detail, the ideas that people come up with, it just fascinates me. And the response from your international judges, what's that been like? I mean I've heard they've been blown away by the level of talent. I think they were very, very surprised to see what we put together, but they said without doubt this show is better than the Auckland International Flower Show, yeah, so, but uh, they have been quite impressed with the quality. Botanical gold were the two key words that South Africa's first lady loved as she listened intently to Jill Manson, creative director of the Net Flores Grand Pavilion of Flowers. Jill explained that the new gold is the wealth we have in the floral kingdom. As she moved from exhibit to exhibit, our first lady shared the joy and the sentiment of how talented South African floral stylists are and that we indeed have created a flower show for all the world to see. What great pride in this historical moment for the creators, directors and exhibitors of the show. Guys, what are you expecting from the flower show? What do you think you're going to see in here? Beauty. Yeah. Beauty, life, green, spectacular. So why did you come this weekend? Um, so I mean personally I'm a creative and I'm really looking to see how creative people are getting with you know the, the flowers, the plants, how they're going to organize everything. So I'm here for creativity. The garden section here at the Johannesburg International Flower Show is approximately 5,500 square meters, which is huge. And it brings together the best of South Africa's landscapers, growers and retailers to show off what they've really got. enjoyed what you've seen at the International Flower Show so far? Have you had a chance to even look around? I've been to Chelsea. The standard here is much higher than Chelsea and it's much bigger than the Chelsea show. I think people here are going to take 10 to 12 hours to go through the 3,800 uh, square meters of thing. Guys, I heard you've just arrived. What do you think so far? Awesome. We love it. We, we stopped at the store there with lotus flowers Stunning. and we were impressed. Then we moved on to where the butterflies went. <laughs> we got a book on butterflies. Stunning. So perhaps it might just be a new uh, hobby for Alok. <laughs> So what you see around us is the flower market and when you come to the Johannesburg International Flower Show you can come and pick out some freshly cut flowers from the best service providers in South Africa. What would you say has been your favourite part of this weekend at the show? Uh, it would definitely be the net florist's um, tent. It was yes. just beautiful. 
like mind-blowing, um, all sorts of different things and imported flowers and all of that. Well, truly amazing, really. It's, it's better than we expected. The Botanical Artists Association of Southern Africa is a non-profit organization committed to the promotion and development of botanical art and the scientific and artistic traditions based on this art form. The association displayed their wonderful artworks, including pieces by members of Basa Gauteng and some beautiful works of art, including botanical greeting cards. So this entire weekend there have been workshops happening, so it's not just about coming and experiencing and seeing all the visual arrangements and the beautiful flowers, you actually get to learn something all at the same time. Fantastic, fantastic workshops. When you are stressed, you take grows Some of South Africa's most talented floral artists demonstrated fabulous ideas for flower arranging concepts alongside international floral stylist Sharon Magookan from the United States. And the stage is now open to host even more international talent in the years to come. So the aim of the, of the evening is to welcome you aboard as the team that has made this possible and really to thank you from the bottom of my heart for, uh, for, for your involvement. It is so appreciated. So many people have sacrificed, have sacrificed time, money, energy just for the joy of looking at a beautiful flower display or a beautiful garden that you've built. Next three or four years, one of the best show in the world. You have to work. You have to help Mike. Five days have brought together fans of flora and fauna from around South Africa and it's safe to say that the inaugural Johannesburg International Flower Show has been a massive success. So until next year, keep it growing and keep it glowing.